ஹாய் ஹலோ நமஸ்தே வெல்கம் பேக் டு நீட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சில்ட்ரன் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் அபவுட் எயித் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் மீடியம் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் இன் தட் ஜியாகிரபி சாப்டர் நம்பர் த்ரீ அட்மாஸ்பியர் கண்டினியூட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் அட்மாஸ்பியர் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் வி கெட் த இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அபவுட் அட்மாஸ்பியரிக் ப்ரெஷர் மேஜர் ப்ரெஷர் பெல்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி அர்த் wind types of wind so these are the very important concepts we are discussed let's come to the in this session we are going to get the more information about atmosphere humidity of atmosphere the amount of water vapor or moisture present in the air is called as humidity the instrument hygrometer or psychometer is used to measure humidity so let's come to the which are the types of humidity humidity in the atmosphere is expressed in different ways the important among them are absolute humidity relative humidity specific humidity among that absolute humidity the total amount of water vapor present in the a given volume of air is called absolute humidity this type of measurement of humidity is not useful because it doesn't take temperature into the consideration and the relative humidity the ratio between the actual amount of water vapor present in the air and the amount of water vapor the air can be hold at the temperature is called as relative humidity it is expressed in percentage the actual amount of the water vapor in the air that is relative humidity is equals to the actual amount of the air water vapor in the air into 100 divided by the maximum amount of water vapor the air can hold so that is we will going to identify about the relative humidity and the specific humidity the actual amount of water vapor present in a given mass of air is called a specific humidity so these are the concept of humidity and types of humidity <coughs> let's come to the next about clouds cloud is a mass of small water drops or ice crystals formed by the condensation of the water in the atmosphere they are usually at a considerable height above the earth's surface so types of clouds clouds are classified into four major types on the basis of their shapes heights at which they occur and other characteristics among that they are called as the the stratus the cumulus the cirrus and the nimbus clouds so number 1 stratus clouds these are the lowest clouds in the atmosphere these are found at the height of 2 kilometers from the earth's surface they appear as thin sheets or layers of large extent these are helpful for fair weather and cause a little rainfall and the second one cumulus clouds here you can see so this is cumulus clouds since these are of great vertical extent and dome shaped appearance these are look like dome shaped appearance they resemble cauliflower these are rain bearing clouds these are popularly called as wool packs as they look like wool packs and the next cirrus clouds cirrus 
here, here it is you can see the cirrus these are the highest clouds in the atmosphere they are at the height of 6 kilometers and above these clouds resemble curls of hair have a feathery or fibrous appearance they indicate fair weather and often give a brilliant sunset they look like patches of cotton fibers floating in the air their popular name is mare's tail or witch's broom and the next nimbus clouds so here it is you can see the nimbus clouds these clouds are rain clouds which occur at low levels these clouds have the shape, uh, shape of stratus or cumulus they cause heavy rainfall or snowfall the nimbu stratus are thick heavy rain bearing clouds so that is the information about the types of clouds let's move on to rain the condensed water in the atmosphere precipitate in the form of water droplets it is called rain the precipitation in the form of water droplets is called as rainfall. The total amount of rain received in a given area is measured by rain gauge and in millimeter or in inches. So, types of rainfalls. Rainfalls is in three types. They are conventional rainfall, orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall. Among that, the first one, conventional rainfall. The rain caused by the upward movement of conventional current is called rainfall. Is called conventional rainfall. In areas of high temperature, air rises up due to heating. This rising air cools, gets saturated, condensation takes place and later rainfall occurs. This is conventional rain. Conventional rainfall is very common in the equatorial region and in the tropical regions in summer. In the equatorial region it is called afternoon rain. It is accompanied by thunder and lightning and hailstone and occur in the afternoon. So that is about the conventional rainfall. Orographic rainfall. It is also called as mountain rainfall or relief rainfall. When moisture laden air is obstructed by a mountain barrier, the air is forced to rise up. As the air rises upwards, it cools and gets saturated. Further, cooling of this air causes oreographic or mountain rainfall. The windward side of the mountain receives more rainfall. So, this part of area it is called as windward. So, the leeward side generally it is called as rain shadow region. This part of area it is called as leanward rain shadow area. Example Mangaluru is in the windward. Mangaluru it is located in the windward and the Hassan is leanward. It is in the rain shadow area. So, Hassan it is in the lean world side or in the rain shadow region. That is about orographic rainfall. And the next cyclonic rainfall. In the tropical cyclones, the air rises upwards in circular movement. So, condensation takes place and cause heavy rainfall.
instead of this in temperate temperate cyclones the warm air being lighter is forced to rise over the heavier cold air after rising the warm air cools and condenses and cause rainfall the area between the warm and cold air mass is called as front so the temperate cyclonic rain is called frontal rain so that is about the information about the cyclonic rainfall let's come to the about distribution of rainfall the distribution of rainfall on the earth depends on location and the climatic condition of that region so the most of the most important heavy rainfall areas in the world are the equatorial region the eastern margins of subtropical belts the western margins between 40 degree and 60 degree north and south latitudes scanty rainfall areas are the polar areas and the western margins of south tropical regions and the tropical and temperate deserts here are some of the very important information like mass syndrome of meghalaya in india has recorded with 1140 cm of rain per rainfall per year it is considered as the wettest region on the earth aghumbe of our karnataka is called as mass syndrome of south india in the karnataka aghumbe which is receives heavy rainfall so that it is called as mass syndrome of south india the place name called as royali of rajasthan in india receives lowest rainfall it receives only 8 cm rainfall in a year so as nayakanahatti of chitradurga is the driest place in karnataka the region on the earth which has not received rainfall for the last 200 years in atacama desert of chile so that is some of the uh, well known information about the uh, rainfall when comes to the concept of weather and climate the atmospheric condition of an area over short period of time is called weather example cloudy sunny fine weather etc the scientific study of weather is called meteorology the average condition of the atmosphere of a larger area over a long period is called as climate example equatorial climate tropical monsoon climate desert climate mediterranean climate tundra climate etc and the scientific study of climate is called as climatology here some of the very important factors affecting the climate of a place are reason are latitude altitude from the sea level winds distance from the sea distribution of land and water bodies ocean currents etc are the important factors which are affecting the climate of a place or a region so here the number one the latitude you can see the picture it is give the information about the latitude and the second one it is a altitude from the sea level and the next about the winds and distance from the sea the next distribution of land and water bodies the next ocean currents so that is about the concept of humidity clouds rainfall and weather and climate so that's it about today's session i hope you have understood till now what we are discussed in case if you having any doubts related to till now what we are discussed entire lesson you can comment in the comment box i will solve your 
doubts i will come back with the next video until keep watching my channel thank you have a nice day see you in the next session bye bye